My name is Kelly Jordan Schudo, and I'm an associate professor in the School of Dental Medicine at the University of Pennsylvania. And I've been very fortunate enough to receive um, some funding from the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act from the National Institute of Mental Health. So my research um, through this th American Recovery Act is to investigate the role of antiretroviral drugs in the CNS of patients, and that's their brain. Um, it turns out that HIV-infected patients um, take a combination of antiretroviral drugs to treat the HIV, and this has been a wonderful therapy in order to improve their lives, obviously extending their lifespan dramatically. Um, however, recent data has come out to suggest that taking these drugs long term may have toxic effects in the CNS. And we are very interested in figuring out what those effects are, how we can prevent them. And our um, work so far, based on this funding, has led us to discover that there are a subset of the classes that patients are taking that are indeed neurotoxic. Um, they are probably not neurotoxic at, um, in an acute form, such that taking the drugs um, cause damage right away. But our concern is that if you take them chronically over long periods of time, you will end up with um, potentially a disease that looks like premature aging or Alzheimer's disease. And it's been very interesting that our results have actually led us to not just uncover the mechanism that's leading to this change, but actually to demonstrate that some of these drugs are, are leading to potential um, neurodegenerative phenotypes similar to Alzheimer's disease. And this has been, um, we think, really important for our understanding of how to treat these patients now that they will be um, on antiretroviral drugs for the rest so of the So obviously we are interested in understanding what the, defi the problems of taking antiretroviral drugs would be in patients. However, I want to emphasize that we believe that HIV patients should definitely take these drugs as they are life extending and essential for their survival. Um, at the same time, we obviously want to find out how can we make these drugs better? What toxicities can we remove by changing the current um, formulations? And what can we give as an adjunctive therapy to potentially make them less toxic to patients who are taking them? By receiving this money, I was actually able to hire four technical staff. These were four students who, uh, who had just finished undergrad and needed to find jobs after coming out of undergrad. And they came to me looking for positions and because of the, I had the um, stimulus money, I was able to hire all four of them last summer. Um, and they started working and this not only provides them with um, gainful employment for the two years while they decide what they want to do with their lives, but um, also um, expose them to cutting-edge research that, that thankfully a number of them have found very interesting and they are um, all considering going on back to school to um, get either medical degrees and or doctorates in philosophy and biology. And so our hope is that they will again come back to visit this world of either the clinical side of antiretroviral therapy or um, the basic science side of what causes neurodegeneration.